Since the 1950s, the use of the computer has revolutionized the business environment. The growth of the industry can be marked by three major waves of new technology which gave birth to the mainframe, the mini, and most recently, the personal computer. The phenomenal growth in processing power which can be expected over the next 10 years means the 90s will be the most exciting decade in computer history. This fourth wave of technology will offer ease of use and portability, which from the early days of Alan Kay with his Dynabook have been the dream of computer scientists. It will now be possible to produce an electronic companion which will stay by the user's side all the time, providing them with a powerful tool to support their work. The need to be efficient and organized in today's competitive environment cannot be understated, and access to readily available information is extremely important. In the UK, an estimated six million people work away from their desks. Isolated from the support staff and functions at their offices, they have very specific requirements to not only access information, but gather, process, collate and present it. To meet these requirements and combine them in a truly portable unit, the Active Book has been developed, using one of the most advanced computer processors in the world. This offers one other great advantage, practicality, allowing the users to express themselves in the most natural way and dispensing with the need for elaborate training courses and time-consuming procedures. In short, this means support for a pen interface which will behave exactly like its pen and paper equivalent. Offering all the familiar aspects of a book, the basic information will be in a page, not a file, with the familiar structure of contents and chapters and the comfort of page numbers to let the user know exactly where they are. The versatile functions will include not only the ability to receive information, but to send it back to the office, allowing information to be processed and worked on as soon as possible. With hypermedia, it will be possible to combine information from faxes, text, numbers and graphics, all in the same document, translating numbers into charts, pie diagrams or histograms at the touch of a pen. The combination of these features will, however, be much more powerful than the sum of their parts. A compound document can now be passed to a secretary as one entity. Along with the facsimile function comes radio paging, offering immediate communication and helping all those on the move stay in touch. Mobile workers also need all the standard service support, such as electronic notebook, personal organizer, diary, calculator and telephone book. Many of these facilities only make sense in a truly portable unit, which stays with the user all the time, and they will only be practical if they're very easy to access. All these needs can now be met through the advanced technology harnessed by the active book. Another important need is the ability to link separate pieces of information. Often people only remember important documents for a meeting when they're already traveling. An active book will offer the ability to link pieces of information to a particular meeting at the time of their creation. They will then be automatically available when required. This feature, often referred to as hyperlink, can only be implemented electronically and represents a major productivity improvement to the mobile businessman. The more pieces of information which can be linked, the more powerful the tool becomes. Downloading information from a PC prior to a meeting allows a document to be worked on whilst en route, opening up further time-saving and valuable possibilities, as does the opportunity to extend the active book's functions through software packages which will be available in a variety of applications, from financial planning through to language translations. Additional memory cards will also be available. The benefits that the active book will bring to the growing number of mobile workers cannot be understated. They will appeal to all those who are not computer literate and therefore easily put off by keyboards and difficult to understand manuals. But rather than passive paper, this new generation of productivity tool is full of many active components, bringing the leading edge of technology into the hands of everyone who can write or read a book. The acceptability of using an electronic aid with a pen interface in meetings is far greater than that of a laptop PC with its awkward keyboard. And what is more, for the first time, 
the book computer offers the user a simple gateway to the previously inaccessible functions of office-based computers. Computing will now truly become personal. Mobile technology serving users wherever they go. The first active book will be available in early 1991 and will introduce the fourth wave of computing. The active book will be carried and used almost anywhere, including situations where existing portables are either impractical or inappropriate. Uh, this opens up a market potential that is very much wider than those addressed by existing laptops. The main excitement uh, about the active book, of course, is its new pen interface. The fact that you use a pen rather than a keyboard uh, makes the active book a lot easier to use than anything else that is available in the market at present. Future uh, products will have a much increased memory capacity, it will introduce voice features, and it will be connected to the new pan-European digital cell phone standard, which will allow the active book to go with you anywhere in Europe. For example, you could take it into uh, a meeting in Paris and still uh, stay connected with your office in London and indeed call upon the database in London to give you some information that you might need during the meeting. This then introduces truly personal computing, both in the sense of having a computer that goes with you wherever you go and also in the sense of staying connected with home base.